Hallelujah. It's good to come to your home to pray with you again. The Lord is with you and will be your great reward in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with the works of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord laid it in my spirit to come and pray with you on a very important point concerning your life. Concern is, it, it concerns the problems that you are going through. And what problem is that? The problem that started from birth. The problem that started since the day you were born. That so many people, they've never heard about this problem because their parents didn't even know that this problem do exist. So today, the Spirit of the Lord open my spiritual understanding that I should come and pray with you concerning so that your life may move forward because it's this problem that has been holding you back all these years. You know, there are different types of problems that people go through in life. All the problems of life, are they're all put in seven categories. The first one is called ancestral problem. That is also called generational problem or the problem that you inherited from your ancestors, from your parents or from your grandparents. The second one is called foundational problem. That is a problem that started with you when you were born. And that's exactly what the Spirit of God asked me to pray with you against today. And today, by the authority in the name of Jesus, the power of God will set you free. No matter what that problem may be, no matter what is done against you when you were born, today, the mighty hand of God will go to your foundation and remove everything that he has not planted, everything that's supposed not to be there, the Lord will remove today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The third type of problem is called accidental problem. Another one is called self-inflicted problem. The fifth one is called environmental problems. And the sixth one is called territorial problem. And the seventh, which is the last one, is called national problems. But the most important thing that we want to pray about today is a foundational problem, the problem that started with you when you were born. Many of us, we don't even know this problem exists. You don't even know it's been there. Let me give you an example in the Word of God. Let's go to the book of First Chronicles. The book of First Chronicles, I would like to read from chapter 4, verses uh, 9 and 10 is the story that you know very well, the story of Jabez. The Bible says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my cause, and that thy hand might be with me. And that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that he may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Let's look at this man when he was born. He had no idea of what happened to his mother. He had no idea of what happened to his father. He was just coming to this world innocently, but he was born into this problem. He was born and that problem began the day he was born because his mother called his name Sorrow. And from that moment, Sorrow was attached to his name. Sorrow was attached to his destiny, was attached to his success. Everything that he will do, even if we have to achieve anything in life, he has to do it in sorrow and with sorrow. What have you been going through and you've been thinking and you've been searching and scratching your head, trying to figure out what is the source or the origin of this problem? I want to tell you today, it might be the problem that started with you since the day you were born. But glory to God, the power of God God is present to set you free. The mighty hand of God is present to deliver you. Let me tell you a story of what happened years ago. Years ago, this woman came to uh, the church and the church has a delivery room. They have like hospital, this delivery room where they, where they give birth to babies. And this woman, the midwife, was attending to this pregnant woman that was due to deliver. And glory to God, the pastors of that the pastor of that church, his office is right across the delivery room. Hallelujah. And that's, the, the, that's what God used that day to deliver this baby that was just born. What happened to this baby? When the baby was born, the mother was was very weak. The mother was very weak, lay down in the bed, but the baby that was born, the midwife happened to be the woman with witchcraft. And she pulled at, 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 at a big toe 
She put a big toe on the umbilical cord of this little born baby and she began to enchant incantation to take away this little baby's destiny. But glory to God, the Holy Spirit ministered to the man of God and right across the room to go and intervene on what was going on. So the man of God walked in into the delivery room and saw what this evil woman was doing to this newborn baby, innocent child. God. hallelujah so the man of God confronted this witch the man of God confronted this evil woman the man of God confronted this evil woman and asked her to return everything that he has stolen from this newborn child hallelujah so he commanded her by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ he said I command you to return the destiny of this baby that you have taken return everything that God has created with this baby that you have taken oh if the man of God was not there that day. You will have imagined what will have been the destiny of this newborn child. Hallelujah. You know so many people today, you know you've done everything right. You know you've done everything possible as much as you can, as much as you know, but nothing is coming out of it. You have no idea of what anyone, the evil people have done to you the day you were born. Do you even know the nurse that attended to you when you were born? Do you know the name of the middle wife or the kind of person that woman was oh i want to tell you today do you know the hands that carried you when you were born the hand that carried you from the blood when you were born or those that carried you home or when you get home those that play around with you you don't know what they have done with your destiny you don't know what you have done with your future you don't know what they have done against your life i want to tell you today no matter what it is that they have done the word of God stands sure. The Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, the Bible says, For this reason, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the works of the devil. No matter what they have done to you, I want to tell you today that power of God will rest upon you today to set you free. Mahira, hey, we know Mahula, Kahira, say the Haina, we know Mahura, The mighty hand of God will rest upon you today to break every joke that the enemy has placed upon you the day you were were born to remove every mark of the devil place upon you the day you were born to restore your destiny that's been stolen from you or the, your destiny that's been tampered with the day you were born in the name of Jesus Christ because the word of God is written concerning you the Bible says I will restore unto you the years that locusts had eaten hallelujah the canker worm the perma worm the caterpillar I want to tell you today no matter what it is that they have done against you, no matter the source of that foundational problem, no matter how that problem got started, I want to tell you today, today this prayer put an end to that problem in your life so that the glory of God may manifest upon you, so that the power of God may be revealed in your life and the whole world will know that a change, a change has taken place in your life. They will know that something different is happening. Hallelujah. This mark the beginning of a new era, a new year, a new season in your life. The season of breakthrough, season of abundance, the season of success, season of great achievement in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray with you. I want you to come in agreement with me. If you can just stretch forth your hand towards the screen. If you are hearing this through a radio. In the name of Jesus. Just stretch forth your hand toward the sound of my voice. And I want you to be in agreement with me. The Bible says when two of you shall agree. As touching a thing on earth. It shall be done to them. Hallelujah. If you can just believe. The word of God says. That unto it that believe that shall be a performance if you believe you will see and experience the glory of God hallelujah oh as I pray with you I want you to shut forth your hand and be full of expectation because the mighty hand of God will rest upon you the glory of the Almighty will overshadow you to destroy every work of the devil that's done against you the day you were born in the mighty name of Jesus so you may start your life afresh 
afresh in the name of Jesus and the glory of the Lord will manifest upon you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are the Lord. Jehovah is your name. Mahiraka. In the Mahula Kaida. In the Holy Wind. Mahula Kaida. Say, I stand on the volume of your word as you have commanded me, as you have sent me to pray for this person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I hereby release the fire of God to serve the foundation of your life and destroy every evil tree. Every evil tree that is not planted by God, I release the fire of God to destroy it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every problem that started in your, the day you were born, every problem that started in your childhood, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release the fire of God to destroy it today. The mighty hand of God set you free. The power of the Almighty set you free today. It doesn't matter what the enemy has done against you. It doesn't matter what they have stolen from you. The day you were born. It doesn't matter what you have done against your childhood. That is now affecting your future. That is now affecting your success. What they have done against you when you were a child that is now affecting your promotion, affecting your financial freedom, that is now affecting your marriage, that is affecting your ministry, that makes success impossible for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, today I stand on the word of God and I command that problem to be destroyed. The mighty hand of God set you free today. The glory of the Almighty set you free today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, you are free and you are free indeed. Every hidden childhood problem that is affecting your success, I command it to be destroyed now. I release permanent solution now. I decree permanent solution now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every childhood problem that is now affecting your breakthrough, every childhood problem that is now affecting your destiny, every childhood problem that is now affecting your marriage in the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, I decree permanent solution now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree permanent solution now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the mighty hand of God will walk through into your childhood and destroy every work of witchcraft and destroy every power that want to destroy your destiny from today. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the new door is open unto you in the name of Jesus Christ and I command you to walk into your destiny I command you to walk into your purpose I command you to fulfill purpose and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of an overcomer rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ once again, for the word of God says, For our God is a consuming fire. I release the fire of God to go to your foundation and destroy anything and everything that is done against you, that is now working against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the mighty hand of God set you free because the Bible says, Whosoever the Son of Man set free is free in the Jesus, the Son of God set you free today, and you are free indeed in the name of jesus christ thank you father you are faithful and good in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah you are free and you are free indeed it is well with you I'm looking forward to hearing from you i know your testimony begins now i know by the mighty hand of god that has come upon you a new life starts today in the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. But before I go, I would like to introduce to you again my uh, the books that will be very, 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 very good for you. This one is called Total Deliverance, Volume 1. It's all about self-deliverance. No matter what your situation may be, this book is about fasting and prayer. We will walk you through every prayer that you need for that situation that you are going through. Get your copy today. Go on the bottom of this video. You will see the link. Just click on it. We take you to our website where you can order your copy. This next one I would like to introduce to you is titled Let There Be a Change. If you don't like the direction that your life is going and you don't like what is going on in your life and you need a change like yesterday, then this book is for you. It's a prayer book that will transform your life 
and transform your prayer altar. Hallelujah. Uh, this one is called, I must win this battle. The battle of life is a must win for every child of God. You cannot lose because our father has never lost a battle. It's a prayer book that will transform your life. Get your copy today. I must win this battle. The last but not the least is titled, Earth Moving Prayer. Hallelujah. It's a pray until miracle happens. This book has over 5,300 prayer points, life-changing prayer points in it, over 600 pages. This book will transform your life. No matter what your need may be, you will find a prayer for your need in this book. Get your copy today. Go on our website. But if you're not a book reader, that's why we have many of all these prayers on CD. Get your copy today. You can slot it in in the traffic or when you come home, you are tired. You don't feel like praying. Let the man of God pray over you and your household. Get your copy today. These materials will transform your life. It is well with you. It is your day. It is your season. It is your year. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Until next time. I want to